Welcome back guys, gals, and non-binary pals to Brownlow Books. It is late April. I still haven't set a number in my Goodreads reading challenge. I think it's safe to say at this point that I will not be setting one. Um, at least, at least not one that actually matters. I will probably set one to a very low number that I've already achieved just so I can kind of do an easier count of the books I've read this year already because I keep having to go back because it doesn't just show me my year in books until the very end, right? But I want to keep track because I keep track on my Instagram as well. Yes, I have an Instagram for Brownlow books. No one's there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be doing it. I've set myself a challenge the past six years. I've only hit it the last five years. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I have feelings about it, but I also just, I'm like, whatever. I don't know. I'm in a very weird spot right now, I think. But, um, yeah, I'll probably set an amount just so I can keep track of the actual books that I'm reading this year without having to, like, go back and count to the first one that I read this year every time I want to update my number. Um, but yeah, I... It's, it's almost freeing, but I also pushed myself really hard in February to read both the Canada Reads books as well as reading some Black and African American fiction for y'all for, for Black History Month. Um, I mean, I didn't get as much as I wanted, but I was still, I was, I was pushing myself and I was like, I don't think I like this. <laughs> I don't think I like this. And I mean, I did miss one day. That one day is technically a holiday, but like... <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't... I don't know. It's... It feels, we it feels weird to not be doing it because it is something that I've been doing for the past six years now, but it also feels very freeing to not be doing it. I don't know. It feels... It's, it's an odd feeling. Um... I think it's likely that I'm going to end up reading around the same amount of books that I did last year, or the year before maybe, but just without the pressure? I don't know, is it the number sitting there that's the pressure? <laughs> or is it just... I don't know. Because like I said, I was giving myself more space this year, because I, I was burnt out really bad. I was really badly burnt out at the end of last year into the beginning of this year, and so... I was like, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, and now I'm just like, fuck it, I'm not doing it, but like, I'm also not, dare I say I'm not burnt out anymore? <laughs> That's not true. It's a little true. It's mostly true. I'm not burned out anymore. I just, <sighs> learning to be gentler with myself, and I'm making that feel like everything is harder than it actually is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, no, no challenge number set. Um, it's gonna make for an interesting end of the year when I'm like, what was my reading challenge? Oh, fucking nothing. <laughs> How many books did you read? I don't know, let me go count. I think at the moment, 14, maybe 15, which for this time of the year is, is decent for me. I think math. <laughs> uh, if I've read 15 now by mid to late April and I usually read, what was it, like 50? I did 50 last year. I'm not doing the math. You do the math. <laughs> I teach it, you do it. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weird feeling to not have a reading challenge. I'm not going to lie. So, um, I guess that's just the update on that. I don't have a call to action. I don't have a necessary needing of opinions of things on any of it. I just, I mean, if you didn't set a reading challenge this year and you normally do, I want to hear why. But otherwise I'm just kind of like, yeah, you can set a reading challenge if you want to. I didn't want to. I mean, all of my friends that normally set reading challenges set reading challenges. So like, good for them. But I don't know, I didn't, 
I didn't feel the need this year. And I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, Goodreads starts you with 12, right? So I'll probably just mark mine as 12, which I've already surpassed. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments or don't. I honestly, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. If you feel the need to set a challenge because otherwise you know you're not going to read, that's valid. I I know I'm going to read, but uh, I don't know if the number, the pressure of that number sitting there makes it different. I guess, I guess this is the experiment year is what we're coming down to. All right. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you around next time. <laughs>